what is going on everyone so today we're gonna go ahead and install a cheap $35 train horn that I got off Amazon so let's go ahead and get to it see how it sounds All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to install the train horn, we're gonna go ahead and take off the radiator cover here and the grill. I'm planning on mounting it attached to the front of the core support uh, right up in front. So and I'm gonna have a momentary switch. I'm gonna have this for now. This is just what I had laying around. I did order a nice billet switch. I'm gonna put in the cabin on the center console. Should be here in a couple weeks. Uh, it's on back order right now. So for now, we're gonna have to go with that. So let's go ahead and get all that taken off and we can start seeing how we're going to mount this thing. Okay, so what I found is I'm going to go ahead and mount the horn down here to the bottom core support. Uh, I'm going to actually use one of these screws, uh, one of these nut certs, as the screws that I have for it actually are the same thread. And then for the other ones, I'm going to make my own thread with a threaded drill bit and we're going to go ahead and get it mounted up right down here so i'm going to do that and then i'll catch up with y'all right now all right so we got our horn mounted everything lined up nice and neat there already test fitted the grill make sure it clears it does and i got my little compressor mounted right there too and we got the hose hooked up so now the next step is for the wiring so the kit comes with this relay so essentially the way the relay works is that it has a power source right here the fuse line is a power source that goes to the battery this yellow wire is going to go to the positive terminal on the compressor this blue wire is going to go to our switch 12 volt which is going to go into the cabin to the button and this white wire is going to go to ground so i'm going to go ahead and start running wires now and i'll show you how i run it out a bit Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get this harness figured out and get it cleaned up. Um, actually, I cut off the fuse holder that it came with. It's a cheap, crappy little fuse holder. So I have these all weather, you know, they're sealed off. The fuse is in here nice and tight. <laughs> when you close it off, it's nice and tight anyways. So we're going to use one of these instead. So when you can dispose of that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and solder this onto the harness. And I have a bunch of extra wire that's going to help me reach the battery. Unfortunately, I don't have any red wire, so I'm going to be using some blue wire instead. Not really an issue, but let's go ahead and get it done. Alright, and so now you can see this is where I'm going to pass the wire into the cabin from. There's a little grommet here. Uh, this is a hood latch release. Uh, that's a grommet that it goes through. I already have a wire ran through there from a previous install that it does for my alarm. And so I just put a metal pick through there. And so now I'm going to tape the wire that I'm going to pass into the cabin from the other side, from the engine bay, and pull it in on this side. So we can go ahead and do that now. It's going to be nice and quick. That's the easiest way to pass cables into this cabin if you have a Ram 1500 and wanted to. Okay. Oh man, it's dark. Okay, so right there you see the zero gauge for my sound system. And down there, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me try to get some light. So right there you should be able to see the pick sticking out of the grommet. That's for the hood latch release, like I mentioned. Um I believe it is. 
And so yeah, so right there you see the pick sticking out. I'm gonna tape the wire I'm gonna pass into the cabin to that pick and pull it in from the inside and we'll be good to go. All right, so we're finally done with the install. Uh, as you can see, it's nighttime. I got wrapped up in something else and had to postpone this a little bit, but we got it done. So the lighting's not too great, but I just want to show you guys what I did here finally. So this position did work out. I left the, the horn right where it is and the compressor. You see, I shortened the hose. The, ho the hose just goes from there to there. It's literally just a couple of inches. And so then for the harness, for the actual wiring itself, uh, the grounds for the motor and the relay, actually I put them together and I just grounded it right there um, to the reservoir, to the, that's, that's the overflow, overflow tank. And other than that, we have the rest of the wiring that goes to the battery and to the switch, ran inside of the bottom of the core support, tucked in there. So, and that goes in there, comes up behind the windshield wiper fluid reservoir and into the engine bay. All right, and so I have it coming back here behind the battery. I ran it under the battery insulator down here on the side so you can't really see it crossing that way. And then I put it up over here and just a little eyelet to the post that I have there for my two zero gauge wires for my sound system. And then the other wire, I came behind the battery, although you can't see it back there. It's tucked in back there. And then all the way down there, like I showed you guys earlier, uh, I poked a hole through that grommet down there and I ran it into the cabin and so then in the cabin it's tucked under the dash up in there and then I ran it down the side over here into the center console and you can see my little switch my little temporary switch right there until I get my nice billet switch is chilling right there and then other than that nothing else has changed in here you can hardly even notice it and so now I'm actually going to go ahead and open the ignition for you yes you can hear it Sorry for the lighting guys, it's just it's night time here. I'm trying to get this done. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Put the camera outside so you can hear it a little better. Can't complain man. You know, it's it's not the loudest thing in the world, but for $35 off Amazon, I cannot complain. And it's, you know, it's a fairly simple setup, you know, no, uh, no tank or anything, just a little compressor goes straight to the horn. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I got a couple more things coming in a bit. I'm going to be doing my limited slip, hopefully within a couple weeks. Um, just got to make time for that. It's a bit of a bigger project. And so I'm just going to tidy this up now, put everything back together, put the grill back on. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any, any questions about the setup, you know, anything else you want to see in the future. Just drop me a comment below and I'll be sure to reply to you. See you guys.